Here's a picture of an S7300 rack. Let's locate the order numbers for building a hardware configuration or ordering replacement parts. The first module is a 24 volt, 5 amp power supply. The model number is PS307. S7300 order numbers are located on the bottom of the door and the order number is 307-1EA00-0AA0. Next is a Profinet CPU model 315-2PNDP with order number 315-2EH14-0AB0. If the door is missing or the order number has become unreadable, remove the module and look on the side. 6ES7 is part of the ordering number but is insignificant for locating in the hardware configuration catalog. With the CPU, you will also need the first two digits of the firmware version. This is typically located under the door at the bottom of the module. This CPU's firmware version is 3.2.6. When we're looking for the order number in the hardware catalog, we only need to know that it is version 3.2. Next is a 32-bit digital input module. The order number is 321-1BL00-0AA0. Here's a special simulator module. The order number is 374-2XH01-0AA0. You will not find this order number in the hardware catalog. Instead, you substitute a real module order number for what the card is simulating. You will not use this module in a real-world application. However, it requires no wiring and is a great module to have in a test rack. In the center of the module is a slotted switch. When the switch is turned down, the module will function as a 16 input module and all 16 switches will work. When the switch is turned to the center position, the module will function as 8 input and 8 output. The bottom 8 bits will be switches and the top 8 bits will be LEDs. When the switch is turned to the uppermost position as pictured here, the module will function as 16 outputs and only the LEDs will work. Next is an 8 input, 8 output module with order number 323-1BH01-0AA0. The last module in this rack is a 2 channel analog input with order number 331-7KB02-0AB0. It's worth mentioning that if you open the signal module's door, you'll find a wiring diagram on the door's back panel. As the final step, let's log each model number and order number for use in a later hardware configuration.